Today we're taking a look at the High Envision Smart Clock Alarm and why this device can be helpful for digital minimalists and for anyone that wants to sleep better. Let's get started. So a couple of weeks ago, I had a conversation with Melissa on the matter of not having our phones on the bedroom. We want to make sure that our bedroom is only for sleep and that our brains understand that it's only for sleep. A lot of people take their phones to the bedroom. I have talked about this on a previous video about bedtime habits, how taking your phone to the bedroom is actually detrimental for you. If you want to check that out, I'll put it in the card above. But besides that, not having your phone in the bedroom can be very beneficial for your sleep because you tell your brain, hey, the bedroom is only for sleep. However, a lot of people use their phones for multiple things. You start browsing in the bedroom, but you also use your phone as an alarm. So that's where this device comes in. Now let's start with a little bit of the unboxing experience. When it comes to the unboxing, you get a carton box, you get the device itself, you get a plug with micro USB, and you get also a plug for the wall, which is very important if you want to make sure that you charge it. As you see, this device right now is illuminated is because in about three minutes, it's going to make a sound that is going to tell, you know, this is my alarm for 2.20 p.m. I don't have an alarm for 2.20 p.m. This is just for demonstration purposes. But the best way to use the device is with a smartphone. Now, that may be contrary to, you know, what I preach or what I say here on the channel, which I encourage you not to have a smartphone. But, you know, if you have a smartphone, this device works even better with a smartphone. Now, you can operate the device very easily without the need of a smartphone. It has the different buttons. It has alarm buttons here on the side. It has the brightness button, which you can bring up or down. Right now, I think it's on alarm mode, so it's not going to let me bypass it. You also have a snooze button right here. And if I click that whenever the alarm comes in, then you will be able to bypass that alarm, give you a couple of extra minutes of sleep. It also has a radio. Uh, so I don't know if I turn it on. The fact that both yep, the speaker right there. House and the minority leader Chuck Schumer and you can called on the make it quieter or make it louder. We're going to turn it off right there so that your ears do not go bonkers. Then you have uh, also a sleep quality button or sleep aid. And you finally have the settings menu, which you can uh, customize all of the different things. You can set up the alarm, the interface is pretty easy to set up, but the best thing that this device does is that it helps you with your quality of sleep. So when it comes to alarms, not only the blue light is detrimental to you, but also that it just wakes you up all of a sudden, right? You're sleeping at 5.30 and at 5.35 when your alarm comes, it's all of a sudden a big sound. It is not something that increases over time. As you see here, this is 219. At 220, it's going to start making a sound. It's going to start, you know, making small sounds and it starts ramping up the light. So the advantage here is that the device starts from, you know, negative, so no light, and it slowly increases all the way to the maximum. Now, if you have a smartphone, you can customize that maximum to really bright or not so bright, depending on your preference. If you don't have a smartphone, then it, it will be just the default. You have some ability to customize, but not that much. So the advantage of this device is that it allows you to wake up in a more natural way. As you see, this is a very soothing sound that is waking you up with. It is very soft in the beginning and starts incrementing. I'm going to hit the snooze button and right there, it'll come back up a little bit later. So when you hit the snooze button, it shuts down the light, but it also allows you to, you know, it will ramp up slowly over five minutes or over a little bit more. You can also deactivate the alarm right here with these two buttons and, you know, you can just move on with your day. So it's not necessary to have a smartphone, but again, a smartphone makes the experience or the device better because it has more granular you know, control. So for example, I'm going to show you a couple of the things that you can do with a smartphone. So first thing, I'm going to turn this off. My alarm's right here and I'm going to change the light. So you can go, that is a 20%, that is a 60% and that is 100%. Now you have other options like 85 or 70, 60, it depends on the slider. And you also have the ability to have a colorful light. So right there, if that's something that you enjoy, if you enjoy the RGB, you know, kind of like device and, you know, it goes into different colors. If that's something that you prefer instead of just a bright light, then you have that ability as well. 
you will not have this ability if you don't have a smartphone. But again, this allows you to leave your smartphone outside of the bedroom and just use this device to wake you up. And over the last two weeks that we've been testing it out, it has been our quality of sleep has been increasing immensely because we don't wake up to a harsh sound all of a sudden, but it's like a slow ramp up. Now, Melissa still likes to use her harsh sounds and you know that gets into a little bit of a conversation later on. Uh, she just is accustomed to that. But as we have been using this a little bit more and a little bit more, I've started to like it even better because it's you know just a slow rise into the light and also the sound and it's not super harsh with the alarms that you have on your smartphone. A couple of the extra things you can also control here is the snooze, the snooze settings, uh, what's the snooze time, if you know the snooze mode allows you to take out the sound, take out the radio or take out the light. You can also wake up to the radio, you can wake up to a specific sound that you want. So again, when you have the smartphone paired up, it's a little bit easier but again, I wouldn't recommend it because I prefer not to have a smartphone. But if you have a smartphone and it's your primary device, then it works pretty well. It works on iOS and Android. I still have two devices, so I was able to test it on both and it works pretty well. You're able to also have the radio. So if you want the radio, he's having right there. some issues emotionally. He's been very outspoken in saying he may have to step back. Um, if in fact he's and you can lower the volume and the app. Problem and you can shut it off. So this device has been really helpful and it has been a good investment, honestly, at about $49 to $59, depending on when you when you buy it. This is a good thing. There are other devices, again, that are like 100 or 200, and I'll also put them in the description below. But this device is very helpful for us to get to sleep. Now, I'll be doing a couple of extra reviews in the future to see how the durability improves or if other things improve. But as of right now, it is a very good device and it honestly allows you to do a lot of things. This also has an output of five volts if you want to charge something. So if you want to just leave your phone to the side and you know you still want to have your phone in the bedroom, which I personally don't recommend, but if you still want to have it, you can charge your phone overnight or if you want to charge any other device like an MP3 player or something else that you want to charge. This device has been great for $49 to $59. It has improved my quality of sleep. It allows me to wake up more naturally with natural or you know kind of LED lights, uh, kind of like a simulation of the sun, if you will. And it's a pretty fun device. It's very good. It's a great investment for $49 to you know, 60 bucks on the high end, depending on when you buy it on Amazon. But again, I don't want to bore you more with, with more of this device. Great device. Get it if you want to improve your quality of sleep. And of course, if you want to go with the higher end devices, they have better features and better simulation and better color, but that's up to you. That's going to be it for me. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.